I've been in PBL for, since kindergarten all the way up to seventh grade. It was an option in fifth grade and I have been in PBL ever since then. I think it's been a real blast at, uh, having the privilege to be in this program. PBL or project-based learning is an alternative approach to traditional classroom learning. Most places offer this approach at high school and elementary school levels, but the Plymouth School Corporation offers it in grades K through 12. As a result, students at Lincoln Junior High can choose to attend the Innovation Academy. It came about with a with a vision, okay, a vision that a P, uh, a Plymouth Corporation School Corporation, and, and uh, that vision being to challenge the status quo, to look for new ways to engage uh, learners, uh, to make. Uh, uh, learning more relevant to students, uh, more engaging to students, uh, and uh, uh, through project-based learning. You know, the Innovation Academy has, has changed over the years because with each year we kind of become uh, a little more comfortable and familiar with the PBL process. Uh, you know, it, it is something that takes some time to get used to. Uh, you know, we're constantly trying to find new ways to approach uh, problems or projects in our classroom. And, and so, you know, I think that also over the time we, we get a better understanding of how technology fits into the, the PBL classroom. Uh, we get a better understanding of, of the challenges that students face and those challenges change as well uh, from, from year to year. While still learning the same basic lessons of a traditional approach, project-based learning looks to expand the lesson even further. Uh, there are five learning outcomes in, uh, in project-based learning in the new tech model and those are uh, collaboration, okay, communication, uh, written and oral communication, knowledge and thinking, okay, and then the last one is agency. Uh, and to me the agency part of it is really what makes it unique, okay, but uh, kids uh, uh, learn each of those learning outcomes. Uh, and uh, we specifically target those skills for kids, those attributes that kids uh, need to have uh, because we believe that those are the skills that they'll, they'll need not only here at Lincoln Junior High at the Innovation Academy but beyond. Project based gives students a chance to be more, take an ownership role in their learning versus a traditional. So in a traditional classroom you would typically have um, so an assignment given, the teacher gives some instruction, and then the kids work individually. But in project-based, there's a lot of team-based projects that go on, or presentations, and they have individual sections that they are accountable for, but then they have that pressure of, gosh, I'm on a team, so I have to pull my part. It really sets them up to create those life skills that they will use as they go on with their education. We try to provide students with authentic projects. Um, you know, in the humanities classroom, we're, we're including social studies and language arts uh, standards and skills. And then, you know, in a PBL environment, our goal really is to try to make connections with the community as well, uh, to try to offer problems where they come up with solutions, um, opportunities for them to engage in collaboration and critical thinking, um, things of that nature. Project-based learning is a program that starts out with a driving question. And that question is with us throughout the entire project. So everything that we do leads back to that. The kids work on an overall project of some sort to illustrate their learning. We want to see some personal agency within it. We look for written communication, knowledge and thinking, and um, oral communication as well. And with the project-based approach still being in its early stages compared to other traditional educational approaches, it makes you wonder what drew people into it. What drew me to it was probably how they do the projects and um, like collaborating with other students. The relationships that you can build with students in a project-based learning setting uh, is, is kind of a, a nice feature of, of PBL. Um, you get to see students uh, showcase their talents in many different ways um, during the course of, of a project. And I think that, you know, from a teaching perspective, it allows us to, um, you know, start helping them develop 21st century skills like collaboration and critical thinking and, and oral communication. But then also, you know, it's, it's keeping those foundational skills in mind of the importance of reading, writing, and discussing. 
The Innovation Academy also demonstrates why even middle schools should offer the chance for students to use a project-based approach. This is the time uh, in a student's life, adolescence, early adolescence, that their habits are forming. Okay, uh, This is when they uh, really decide whether they uh, are going to engage in academics or not, to engage in school and be uh, uh, you know, uh, formulate their, their ambitions, their goals for not only now, the present, but the future. I love that the students here at Plymouth Schools have the choice. They have that option. Do I want to take a traditional path or a project-based path? I do strongly feel that the project-based learning does set the student up to learn those life skills, to learn communication, working with others, being held accountable for deadlines in a different way than what traditional would. Uh, I feel this way as a teacher, but also as a parent. My daughter is in Project Based up at the high school, and I really like how more independent and more confident that it has made her. At the end of the day, choosing to learn in a traditional classroom or take a Project Based approach is really up to the students. My favorite part would probably be the projects and like we don't have to do as much work as we have as traditional has to do because they have language arts and social studies and they have to like write paragraphs two paragraphs then they have to do in social studies as well uh, i think being part of pbl program program the best part about it is just being able to learn more fun of ways because not just having to sit down and take notes the entire time and being able to learn in fun ways like right like for example we uh row narratives about but using educational terms and uh, using the stuff that we've learned in the past about it and just using all that doing all the fun stuff with it or the southern colonies because of whatever the case